Fan life, fan life, fan life. Fan life, fan life, fan life. It's just incredible. TV. Why would you want to sit in a desert? <laughs> I mean, there are so many RVers that literally buy an RV and then drive to a desert of all places and sit like, like. <sighs> Isn't the great outdoors supposed to be mountains, oceans, forests, you know, all the fun stuff? Or, you know, playing? Well, as the old saying goes, to each their own, right? But the last thing I want to do, let's say I was not a city dweller and I was uh, one of the traveling types, you know, <laughs> moving around the country or whatever. The last place I want to go is a desert just devoid of all life and no greenery and no ocean like I, when i get out of the city i want to go to places like this now right now i'm in the city on the mountain above the city but when i go on road trips i like to go to other ski mountains big ones uh in the interior or whistler or you know and in the summer i like to go find lakes and campgrounds in the forest and stay the hell out of the heat <laughs> Jeez, I don't understand the, uh, uh, I guess the, the, the snowbird mentality. I could understand from people back east, east of the Rockies, if you're living in uh, cold climates in both the US and Canada, you're going to want to go down towards like Florida in the winter uh, or the west coast. A lot of the times here in BC is, is usually warmer than 80% of the USA in the, in the winter. So there's no need for the whole snowbirding thing. But if I was going to drive somewhere, why the hell would I go and sit in the desert and die from heat exhaustion? Like, I don't understand it. It's, n it's hot enough here, even up on the mountain right now. I'm, I'm in the shade right now to get away from someone because I'm sweating. And <laughs> to me, it's like, to, you know, like the old saying goes, live in a van down by the river, not in the middle of a sand dune. So I don't understand what the obsession is with deserts. And then you've got to try to get air conditioning working to lock yourself in your RV on a hot summer sunny day. <laughs> What's the point? What are you doing? You should be outside enjoying things. And what do you what do you do in a desert? Like I, I'm honestly asking, what do you do? You walk around a desert. <laughs> I don't get it, guys. All the RVers I know, they want to get out to the forest. They want to get out to campgrounds. They want to get out to lakes and oceans and rivers and mountains like I'm doing. That is the big benefit of the RV lifestyle. Whether you're in the city and you can hit up small mountains like this or get out the country and go hit up big mountains or go sit by the ocean or jump on a ferry and you know all the things that I do basically. But I've had people ask me, why don't you go down south and why don't you go to Arizona or whatever? I'm like, you couldn't pay me. I'm sorry, but that's the last place I'd want to go. If I was in the desert, I'd be like, God damn it, I have to get out of here and go find some forest and go find a mountain and go find an ocean. Like, I don't, the last place I'd ever want to be is in a desert. Desert, devoid of life. Mountain, life. I'm just incredible, and that's just my opinion. Keep on rocking in the free world, everyone. <laughs> Become a patron and see exclusive content. Plus, see new, just incredible videos before anyone on YouTube. Head over to patreon.com slash TV and keep on rocking in the free world.